bitch! Now let's go! What is going on guys? This is Spade and this video is going to be something that I typically wouldn't talk about but I'm going to only for the pure fact that I am sponsored by one of these companies. Uh, those of you who have heard of any kind of gaming glasses company knows who Gunner Optics is. They are probably the most premier uh, company when it comes to gaming glasses and uh, PC eye strain glasses and stuff like that. Uh, I think last year sometime a company called No Scope Glasses uh, came out and they got popular very quickly because they were selling uh, gaming glasses for a cheap price. For a, uh, Their first pair, their Demon Series glasses, was $20 and they released two other pairs recently uh, for $30 and $20 again. So they're really cheap compared to Gunners which on average start out at $50 and $60. But this morning uh, I received a, a newsletter from my sponsor, who is NoScope, stating that Gunner Optics is actually suing them over patent infringement, which is funny. Uh, I'm not going to say it's uh, frivolous or anything like that, because I have no proof uh, to say it is or anything like that. Uh, for those of you that are wondering how can you patent something like that, you can't pat patent tinted glasses. You can't patent it. What you can patent is the technology in which you use to tint the glasses, the curvature of the lens, like say, and what you can patent is if the, the curvature uh, of the lens actually performs and that itself is what reduces the eye strain itself, then you can actually patent that. You can't just patent, oh, our glasses are tinted and we said they reduce eye strain, we're going to put a patent on that shit. That's not how it works. You actually have to patent a process or uh, the materials. You know, it has to be something that you physically created yourself. And, and uh, I'm trying to think, like an intellectual, not an intellectual property, but it's something that makes it unique. And just because one company makes tinted glasses doesn't mean that another company can't come in and make tinted glasses for a cheaper price. But as I said, if they, you can patent the technology and 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 the process of which the tint is applied, you can patent the curvature of the lens if that is specifically related to how it reduces the eye strain. But that's really it, guys. I just wanted to share that with you all because it's just really weird that something like that would happen. You know, it just seems dumb. Uh, competition, competition in the marketplace is supposed to make other products better but some people just feel that it's wrong and want to keep the market to themselves and before NoScope came around uh, Gunner Optics was literally the only the only option for some people and a lot of people didn't want to actually spend 50 60 bucks on gaming glasses you know I spent 80 bucks for a pair of Gunners that I have and truthfully I don't really like them that much because the frames on them. Uh, the new Hydras I think they are uh, from from no scope I like a lot and those are thirty dollars and I would recommend those to anyone But anyways guys this was spade leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one